Hello, it's me, Michael Gaffney, the owner of American School of Flower Design, with schools in 15 cities and Europe. Uh, owner of Michael's Flower Guard, where we ship boxes, huge boxes of flowers, FedEx overnight. Not little bouquets, a little box, but boxes of flowers with tutorials where you can learn how to design your own flowers. How great is that? Also, uh, the ultimate online floral course, where you can take my classes, instead of joining me in one of my 15 cities, you can take them at home uh, and get the flowers, uh, give you a wholesale, an ID card to buy your flowers wholesale, or you can take a single class and I'll ship the flowers to you. So there's no excuse not to have flower power in your house. Today I'm talking about top bridal wedding flowers to use. If you're DIYing or you're, um, or you're um, a professional florist, people ask me all the time. This is a tough subject, but I'm going to tell you what's happened with the truth and, and what flowers to use because they're the workhorses, I call them the workhorses of our business. So what flowers do you choose to do your own wedding? The main reason you choose these flowers is because they're going to hold up. They're not going to die on Friday night, leave you crying on Saturday morning. Uh, these are the only flowers I use 90% of the time. And uh, they're flowers that are readily available to you. In fact, I'm going to take this box. This is my flower crazy, my invention. Oh, not in that one. Let's try this one. Here it is. Here's my uh, flower recipe book. This is Flower Crazy. I sold it on QVC and now you can buy it on my website, Flower School 101. Get that. You'll make these in three minutes for your wedding. Problem solved. And here's your recipe book. It shows you what flowers to use. But I'm going to use this because I'll forget a couple of the flowers. So I'm going to use this uh, to help me remember uh, the flowers, even though it's a very short list. So again, everybody thinks they don't know the names of the flowers in the flower market. You already know them. You know what a tulip is, you know what a lily is, you know what a rose is, you know what a gerba daisy is. Um, maybe you don't know the name of this, it's called Hypericum Berry, but you know berry. Um, you may not know some of these fillers, this is called wax flower, that's in this arrangement and right here. So, you know, you might not know a few of them, but you know 80% of the flowers that I use for all of my weddings. So. My top 10 wedding list, drum roll please. What's the number one uh, flower in America? Correct, it is roses. So roses is number one. I have them in almost every bouquet uh, for every bride that goes down there. I, think, I, don't, I don't remember, I think maybe one wedding in 30 years I didn't use roses. I use regular gorgeous roses. I don't use garden roses. I know they're happening, I know they're trending, but A, sometimes they don't look so good, and B, my clients don't want to spend $25 for a single rose. So they'd have to give me $100. Uh, maybe they're a little bit cheaper these days, the last year or so. But still, these would rank, for this little bunch, they'd have to pay me $60. I don't think they're that pretty either, so don't yell at me. Um, I think they're interesting, but I don't need them. My work is drop dead gorgeous without doing silly expensive varieties. So roses are number one. Number two, hydrangeas. Use those hydrangeas, but don't use them unless you get alum powder, A-L-U-M. You buy it at the grocery store in the spice rack. You put alum powder in a vase, you cut your hydrangeas, you drop them in, stem down into alum water and let them sit there for about two hours. And then you use them and then you spray them with my secret sauce that comes in every box of flowers that you order from Michael's Flower Garden. It's a sealant that I spray on my hydrangeas that makes them last. Otherwise, I never use hydrangeas because they go on the way to the church. You know that. You bought hydrangeas. 20 minutes, you get them home. Alum powder in the water and my sealant on top from Michael's Flower Garden. Number three, I love tulips. Who doesn't love a tulip? Uh, secret to tulips. Slice their neck right here below the head. Take a knife and slice a quarter inch because they are hydrotropic and they will grow. So in the morning, if you do your flowers uh, before the wedding, you'll come to, on Saturday, you'll come and to work and they'll all be sticking up like this out of your arrangement, two or three inches. Why? Because they're hydrotropic and they grow. So you, you put a cut right here in the stem below their neck and then I usually cover them in black garbage bags to keep the light off of them so they're not growing up and towards the light. Number four, I love my pericum berries. I just showed you one. It's really the only berry used. You know, in winter time, they have those uh, winter berries, those red ones. 
they kind of fall apart and they're expensive. I don't know. I don't use them very much. So I pair a berry. Um, well, no, I love mini green hydrangeas, but again, alum powder and crowning glory. I love callas. C-A-L-L-A. I usually use the white ones. These copper colored ones and peachy colored ones, they can be a lot more expensive. Again, I, I make gorgeous work without spending uh, uh, $60 on four flowers. So I love mini callas. I love freesia. Be careful with that one. It can be delicate. Make sure you get a good source for freesia, but it makes your bouquet very feminine, very pretty. I love orchids. The only two types of orchids I use are cymbidium and dendrobium. Look them up. They're on my website in the flower gallery, flowerschool101.com. Um, I love assorted fillers. The wax flower and limonium. This is called lepto. I can get a piece out. Oh. Very pretty. It's got hot pink uh, blossoms on the end. It's the same thing they make Manuka honey with in Australia, a lepto plant. Um, I haven't even gotten to enough flowers yet. Now, there's other flowers that come into season that I'll occasionally use. Um, but those are my top, I don't think, oh, stock, S-T-O-C-K, right in front of me. It looks like a fat lilac. It's this white flower right here. S-T-O-C-K, stock, right there. I use it in my brides. It separates all my flowers, makes my bouquets look bigger. It doesn't hold up forever, but it's a good flower to use in your wedding, stock. And a lot of times it's very leggy, so I, I, I snip it right there. So it's a nice round mass. Remember, lime and mass flowers. Bridal bouquets are normally made out of mass flowers. A lime material is a branch of gladiola, snapdragon, and a mass material is a ball on a stick, roses, hydrangeas, mini callas, pretty much all the flowers I'm labeling. Um, what am I forgetting? You know I'm forgetting. Gerber daisies, I said. I like the mini gerbas for weddings, they're very sweet. Hydrangeas, roses. Uh, come on, come on, come on. I'm missing a big one, I know it. Lilies. White Casablanca, that was a big one. White Casablanca or Stargazer lilies with the pink throat. Um, love them. You gotta get those sometimes on a Monday though to open up for a Saturday wedding. Put them in hot water, shower hot water. All your flowers you want to open, like your roses, when you get them and they're tight, put them in hot water. Uh, and greenery, about the only three greeneries I use are lemon leaf right here, seeded eucalyptus, which is this with seeds on it, and variegated pittus porum, which I don't have. But those are also on the glossary on my website. Look them up, look them up, look them up. Flowerschool101.com. Uh, so I use the same flowers all the time. I just switch them up. If you look at my three books, Design Star, Flower Power, and Paris, uh, you can buy them on Amazon um, or from my website. They have the same flowers in all three books because they're the workhorses, the ones that will hold up. Okay, let's talk about anemones, peonies, and ranunculus, the hot and trendy flowers. Mm. Ranunc uh, anemones are getting better. Those are those poppy looking ones. They're holding up better than they were a few years ago. Anemones, really delicate, very expensive. I don't think they do that much work. A lot of these flowers that I'm listing do work. They show up. They create volume. They create glam. These little fragile things don't do a whole lot. Peonies. Why? Because they still don't hold up. You get those balls once they open. I did a wedding on Hallmark Channel. I had peonies flown in from Holland. You can watch it on, on, on YouTube. Uh, with uh, uh, Hallmark Channel. Uh, with Christina Ferrari. Um, anyway, we did a wedding on TV and I ordered, had peonies flown in. Two days later, I was gluing orchids on top of the peonies so the bride wouldn't see they were already kind of going. Christina Ferrari's yelling, Michael, where are you? This wedding's live in two minutes. I'm like, Michael, not really spitting. Gluing orchids on top of the peonies. Um, so that's what I think of peonies. And they're way expensive. They're eight, they retail for $20 to $25 a stem. Again, five flowers for $100. I, if they have to have peonies, I get them balls, you know, the tight ones, and I put them in like a mixed bouquet. I go, there's your damn peonies. Be happy. Once they blow open, which is where you really love them. My grandmother's backyard had blown open peonies all over the place. Yes, but not practical in a wedding. You need flowers that are going to hold up and deliver on Saturday. So make sure you get that crowning glory and spray everything or the uh, Michael's Secret Sauce that I throw in my boxes. You get a free one from me on America in uh, Michael's Flower Garden. 
Um, there are other things like irises, Alstroemeria, that I'll use in day projects like vase flowers, even carnations, but I don't use those. Those are my B class flowers. I don't use them a lot in weddings. And I know I'm forgetting a flower or two. No, no, no. Look it around. Uh, but those are the top. If you do just those bridal flowers, you'll be happy. Here's your stargazers. Those pink throated ones. Everybody loves those. Some people don't like the smell. I do. Um, this picture, I just saw one. Uh, look at this bouquet. Perfect for a wedding table. And so easy to do. If you order flowers from me and buy Flower Crazy, you can do it for probably a third of what you'd pay from a, a designer to create that. I'm here to save you money. I'm here to teach you how. I'm here to put flowers in everybody's house. Whenever you order from Michael's Flower Garden a box of flowers, I send a second bouquet to someone in assisted living or nursing home on your behalf to cheer them up because that's what I like to do. Uh, baby's breath, not much. Nobody wants it. Uh, you know, this book is lavender. Eh, you don't really use it very much. So there's other flowers you could pick up and add to that, but those are the main flowers to use. The roses, the lilies, the tulips, the stock, the mini callas. Those are your main workhorses for the day. Yep. If you look at all my books, you'll see. Uh, other things like kale is trendy right now for that Napa Valley wedding. I do, I'll use some kale. I'll use yarrow, the yellow flower, but yellow doesn't work in most weddings. Um, so there are other flowers I use, but it's unusual. So keep your, keep your, your wedding list to that. If you have any, other, if any questions, send me an email. I will answer, but I tell you, those are the flowers that hold up, that you know you design. What day did I do my weddings on, by the way? We learned this in class. Wednesday, correct. I do my weddings on Wednesday, I finish them on Thursday, and Friday I stand around like this. What time is that wedding? Tomorrow? When I used to smoke. Um, Weddings are done on Wednesday. Why? When you go to a wholesaler, if you come to my classes, you'll see everybody's there on Wednesday because everybody knows the flowers are there by Wednesday for that weekend's event. And they're sitting in coolers and they're dehydrating and gathering bacteria and losing moisture and fading. So every designer knows to bring up their flowers on Wednesday. We design our bouquets like this. We spray them with my secret sauce and we put them in the cooler or a cool room. Another thing, you do not need a cooler to be a, a wedding designer. You need an air conditioner air conditioned room and you uh, let them drink water for Wednesday night, Thursday, Friday. And the only thing you do on Saturday is you wrap them with the ribbon and the pins for the brides and bridesmaids, which I'm going to show you in another video. But you do all your weddings on Wednesday and Thursday and Friday, you just chill out thinking, what did I forget? Is there anything else? Hmm. You go over your list 16 times. Um, that is another secret to doing a wedding easily. If you forgot something, you have a whole 24 hours or better to run back to the wholesale and say, oh my God, I forgot this bouquet for the altar, which you won't, I never have. So do your weddings way ahead of time and chill out, get it all done. You can green in, we talk about greening, and here's another secret, I'm giving it all away. Greening in, where you prep your containers, it's on the uh, Ultimate Floral uh, Wedding Design course. You green in your containers on Monday. Those are all, those will last a month. You do those on Monday with lemon leaf, salal, or seeded you, the three, and those will sit around for a month. But you only need, you do them on Monday. So when your flowers come in on Wednesday and you get the ones you need to open by putting them in hot water for about three hours, like roses, then you just stick your flowers in. Boom, 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 boom. Next centerpiece. Boom, boom, boom. Ba boom, boom, boom. Next centerpiece. Ba boom, ba boom, ba boom, ba boom. Next centerpiece. So don't be afraid. In conclusion, I'm saying don't be afraid of weddings, but you need to know some things. You need to know which flowers to choose. You need to know you don't need an air a cooler to do them. You need to know you can start them on Monday. Thursday, and very easy. So, if you have any questions, call me. Um, the video I did just before this, I'm giving away uh, flower uh, free courses, free wedding design courses. So, find that video and enter. All you gotta do is, is guess who I was talking about, which celebrity, and uh, or send me a picture of a bouquet you made. Michael Gaffney. Uh, uh, the man of the flower is saying, uh, visit me in classes if you're ever in one of the cities I'm in. I'll be happy to welcome you in. You can always sit around and watch. My students do fantastic work. Watch the videos online. They blow my mind every, every Saturday when they do their weddings on their own. I'm like, oh my God. Prettier than designing. They've been working in New York for 10 years. 
So, Michael Gaffney saying, keep blooming, and I'll see you in the next video. Subscribe if you want more action, more flowers in your life, uh, and go to Michael's Flower Garden or Flower School 101.com. Peace.